Hello everyone, my name is André Freire and I'm part of the Faking IT. E Today, I'm going to present my solution to the broad challenge of tissue synthesis via painting, entitled Brain Tumor Removing Using 3D Wavelet Diffusion Models. Several well-established algorithms for brain MRI analysis struggle with scans containing brain tumors, as they are trained for healthy brains. Brain tumors change the morphology of the brain, changing the data distribution, which reduces the performance of these algorithms. These algorithms include brain extraction, tissue segmentation, brain tumor growing model, among others. We aim to solve this problem by replacing the unhealthy tissue with healthy tissue, creating a healthy MRI scan that can be used in these algorithms. The state-of-the-art technology for this task is the generative models, more concretely, generative adversarial networks and the noising diffusion models. The dataset for this test is based on the BRAT 2023 adult glioma segmentation, but only containing the T1 modality, the dilated mass of the tumor, and the mask of a random healthy region. The dataset uses a conventional data augmentation to create the healthy masks, which includes selecting a random healthy mask, randomly mirroring and rotating, and placing it in the random place of the brain. In order to make the task more challenging for the diffusion model, we use a GAN to generate synthetic healthy masks. Then randomly, we choose how many healthy masks we want per brain, and then a random real or fake mask is used. In our solution, we decided to use diffusion models as they have already suppressed GANs regarding realism. Here you can see the two pipelines used for training and for inference. First, the training process uses the void scan with noise in the region to paint and the mask of the healthy region. The noise is only added in the region of interest and never in the remaining region. Then, the generated scan is compared with the real scan using mean square error. It's important to note that in our best solution, the unhealthy tissue was never considered to compute the loss. It was noticed that by including it, the model was learning to generate an healthy tissue in some situations. So the loss function is composed by the mean square error of the real and impeded scan without the unhealthy tissue and the impeded region only with weight of 10. For inference, only the voided region contains noise and after each step, the known region is replaced by the real known region, keeping from the inference only the region of interest. This process is performed by a fine number of steps. We tested from 1,000 up to 5,000 steps. Here are the results of all experiments made. The submitted solution is the one with best results in both. We decided to use 5,000 steps for the inference. Even though it takes a long time to run, there are improvements as seen in the table. In the context of a challenge, this improvement is justifiable. However, this needs to be further investigated to understand if it has impact on the performance of a downstream task. Here are presented three distinct cases from the validation set. It can be seen that by using 5,000 steps, the quality of the generation increases in comparison with 3,000 steps, as also seen by the quantitative results. Although, in some cases, the implanted region looks fuzzier. From our experiments, we could conclude that using more steps for inference results in better generation, however, visually fuzzier. Increasing the number of steps also increases the inference time, and it needs to be studied in a downstream task if this leads to any improvements. We probably didn't train for long enough as we tested several checkpoints and the quantitative metrics kept improving. Removing L and LT tissue from the ground truth improved the results, and finally, the developed conditional 3D wavelet diffusion model can be employed to successfully perform in painting. To conclude my presentation, I would like to thank everyone who contributed in one way or another to make this solution possible, especially the organizers and sponsors of the competition, as well as my team, Reis, Bevos, Jens, Victor, and Jan, for their great help. And thank you all for your attention.